Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In yesterday's video, I asked for a surprise from EA in terms of the content, because I said it was getting kind of repetitive. But I was not expecting the surprise that we actually got. Guys, yesterday's Evo is creating some absolutely insane cards, and it's making the market move, but it was nothing that we expected. So we're going to talk about that, because there are a few problems with it, and it is impacting the market, so I want to cover that. And we're starting to get news and information about Golazo team number two. We have the first icon player leak, and evidently there's three Brazilian icons that are going to be coming out for team two. So we have a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content apart from that Evo. We had two SBCs that came out, and actually they're both worth looking into first of all player sbc that was leaked before yesterday's content and then was later dropped jeffrey condogbia with anticipate plus and power shot plus four star four star medium high left footed i also think that is worth noting he cannot play center back although his stats would make him a really really good center back maybe you move him there in game um but i would use him in the midfield power shot plus and anticipate plus that sounds like a cdm that would be very fun to use Great defending play styles, of course. He's got the Relentless, and he has Aerial as well. So this is going to be a pretty good card in game. He's six foot two. He's very high in strength. He's going to be probably a big body in game as well. Um, and he's not that cheap. Sorry, he is cheap. He's not that difficult to get done. He has just two squads, an 85 and an 86. You do need a team of the week. So it's coming in at 100,000 coins. But if you just think of it as an 85 and 86 rated squad, it's not too bad. Now, the one thing I will say is... Marseille have drawn Benfica, I believe, um, in their current round of the Europa League. And this is a live card. So potentially, if, if Marseille qualify for the final, if they make it all the way to qualify for the final, he will get a third play style plus, which is kind of, I guess, a draw to some of the road to the final cards in the first place. I think we're going to start to see three play style plus cards here by the end of the month in April. And some of these road to the finals could potentially be some of the first ones with three play style pluses. So I'm not saying it's going to happen. All I'm saying is it's possible for him to get a third play style plus earlier on than a lot of other cards could. So that's a little bit of an extra maybe reason to try to craft that SBC, even if you don't use it right away. You could use him in the cup. He's 88 rated, and that's an interesting looking card at the very least. So it's one to do that is there, and it is live and upgrading. Now, we also had our Gamble Tuesday player pick that dropped, and guys, this might be one of the best of the Gamble player picks on Tuesdays that we have had. They added in the Future Stars and Fantasy FC players, and also from opening these on stream yesterday, it seems like the fantasy players have a pretty high drop weight. Not like everybody packing Usman, Dembele, or Chiesa, or players like that, but solid, very usable players, even some that are getting upgrades today on Wednesday, are being packed from this player pick. It's also an 85 and an 86 rated squad to get done, so two SBCs with the exact same requirements that dropped yesterday. I kind of just put that together. We can only do it one time, but I think EA limited us to only doing it one time because they added in those newer players to it. And it's 88 plus. It's only a one of three. This is actually, in my opinion, worth crafting. If you're going to do, do the player SBCs that you want to do first. I always prioritize player SBCs over doing a gamble pack like that, at least personally. Uh, so be smart with that. But I think that one's maybe worth doing in the next week. So watch out for that. Also, the Encore Icon pick did not refresh yesterday. The timer says one day, six hours. But that's... That's different than what it said at content earlier today. I thought this was refreshing today on Wednesday. We'll talk about that a little bit more. But let's continue with yesterday's content and get to what made things go crazy. Guys, it was the evolution. There were no leaks for this at all. Just randomly out of nowhere yesterday, EA dropped an evolution backline to frontline. Guys, this seems more like shapeshifters than anything else, but this Evo is just flat out insane insane because the boost on the stats are crazy the cards that come out of this are absolutely unbelievable they're broken like look at that emre chan card he is one of the better players that comes out of this evo 96 shooting 93 physical he can play center defensive mid center back and as a part of this evolution the whole point is they're giving a defensive player the chance to play up front. They give out play style power shot, play style plus for aerial, right? For the headers. They give out a weak foot upgrade. They give the striker position. You get quick step play style and power header plus. Now, I don't have a ton of insane cards that fit this evolution. 
in my ultimate team and unfortunately some of the cards that i would love to put into this already have a playstyle plus so they don't fit that's probably the biggest problem with this evo is that cards that already have a playstyle plus are not able to fit this evo but tonali's i believe his first or his best evo for sure of the year so far he's a card that a lot of people are doing instead of this i even think ricky push uh is being completed in this evo a decent amount he's gonna go to five star weak foot have 90 shooting 86 pace 93 dribbling and here's the thing with these cards it's not like everybody's going and running to play this tonali at striker right or you know one of the players i have in my club as well is this kalka ray that you can get the upgrades on a lot of people are just putting cards into this evolution and then still going to end up using these players in the defense in the midfield roles because some of them are better than other promo cards or close to the range of promo cards that they have on the market already right case in point probably the most popular player out of this evolution is Eder Mili Tao this Eder Mili Tao of course with the pace boost goes up to 90 pace he gets aerial plus, which is very helpful for defending, right? Power header, you know, you kind of wish it was something else. But you get a weak foot boost to go to four star. And then you still get 85 defense. Sorry, 88 defense and 85 physical. A nice plus two boost there and a plus three to physical. Um, a, a good passing boost. A good uh, dribbling boost as well. It's almost but not quite comparable but especially because people look at the pace stat right it has more pace than his 90 rated foot birthday card on the market that is um about 500,000 coins and yesterday this card dropped off a lot in value he is now back up there was a huge huge crash in this card he went from 560 all the way down to 470 480 and now he's back up because of course people look at this card with anticipate plus and it is the better card but yesterday people were panicking like crazy to go get this militao to go do this evolution he is probably the number one most popular card in this evo we looked at a lot of other really cool cards that come out of this evo as well on the second channel if you want to check out that video i'll link it right above here as we were kind of absorbing it all and uh just reacting and seeing all the content yesterday as it dropped the second most popular card out of this probably has to be leon goretzka look at the state of this card again this evo is just creating broken cards uh 85 pace 96 shooting 90 dribbling and 90 physical the problem is a lot of these cards that are the most meta and the popular versions they're extinct as you would expect um, so you can pack some of them though, if they're in forms, you can get them from 83 plus team of the week player picks. So like if I pack a Goretzka, I'm going to leave this evolution right here. Cause there's nobody from my club that I look at and say, wow, I really want to put Tonali into this for me. Tonali would be great. I just don't know if I really want to put him in. Um, so I'm going to wait and see if I pack a Goretzka. I'm going to wait and see what I pack from this to potentially put somebody into this Evo and have some fun with the card. Um, but that is one thing I will say. Also, the other thing is some of the players that fit this Evo that are very good, like that Emery Chan, you can't even get them anymore except for off the market if you're going to try to snipe them and get lucky with that. Um, I guess you would technically have a chance to get Emery Chan in the 4U packs section. There is that pack there that gives out 84 and 85 plus rated cards from older promos. But again, this Evo is a little bit restricting because once again, it says number of playstyle pluses, max zero. You can't have any playstyle pluses on the card. I would have loved to fit Ben Sabini into this evolution. He would have been absolutely insane, but he already has slide tackle plus, so it doesn't fit. Same thing with Weston McKinney. This Weston McKinney card would be absolutely broken, but I can't put him in because he has quick step plus. So if there's anybody from your club that fit in this Evo as well, that's one of the cool parts about it. And those are some of the cards that we saw yesterday when looking through what some of you guys were doing for this Evo on the YouTube second channel YouTube video. Um, but yeah, the most popular cards for a good Evo like this are going up in price like we saw for the Goretzka, for the Eder Militao. If you even look at just the front page of Footbin, the most popular players, it is full of these players. Milit 21K, did he get a price range update? I, I thought he was at like 16K max yesterday. Maybe not. Uh, no, he's always been 21K. Just kidding. Um, let's see who else Kalulu is extinct on the market right now because this Evo there's so many players Yeah, there's the Goretzka even some other random gold players have been going up regular gold Goretzka is extinct on the market right now at 15k because he even looks pretty good from this Evo um, so basically you were able to do one of the crazy cards in this evolution if you kept them in your club it's just kind of hard to get most of them now because a lot of them were old promo cards. So that's kind of the facts going on there with that evolution. Um, 
but it's an insane Evo. It's crazy, right? That was nothing at all like it was expected to be yesterday in terms of content. We had no leaks for that. I love it. Like, this is that's gold content from EA. Even though for most people, it's like, okay, sure. I'll put somebody into it. I'll give it a go. Um, I like that it's only a couple of games, and it's free, right? Nobody's going to complain about a free Evo. Play three squad battles, win two, and play three. So you have to go out and you have to play eight games, right? Did I just do that math right? Yeah. Um, three, five, eight. Eight games of squad battles for a huge boost and just a crazy card to try out. It just, it's cool. Like, there's nothing bad to say about that evolution. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. But maybe it is worth just squad battles, putting the controller down and getting a couple of games done, getting some objectives done, some packs, and then getting a 91 rated card at the very least if you have somebody in your club. Even that's worth a shout there for that Evo. So, really crazy content because it was unexpected yesterday for sure now let's go to the market and talk about a few things guys the market is still very mudded like i'm having trouble getting some sales i luckily was able to sell the neymar for about ninety thousand coins of profit um and both of these messies i bought for seven hundred and seven thousand coins so we made really really good money on this messy but the other stuff like i mean i needed that profit to make up for kind of like the break even right here on varan varan is down bad because of a lot of people getting new center backs from that evolution honestly i think that evo is impacting the center back market for sure and this other marquinhos that i still have i kind of bought him too high so i'm just trying to look to get him out here but the market just seems to be very mid it seems very unstable it's not moving a lot the prices yesterday i did buy jobby alonzo on the video when you saw um, me talk about buying him for like 500k he did go up i bought him right here and i sold him right here i sold for 555 and 557 so i timed that well uh, he's now back down to 510 I don't think the cards are going to go up too much, man, especially as we start to get into the Team 2 and people are talking about, oh, Team 2 is coming out, which it is. We're starting to get those first leaks. The Golasso cards didn't move that much yesterday, and it just was kind of the same story for a lot of the market. There is not a lot of cards except for what was kind of hyped for that evolution. Uh, not a lot of cards moving. It just seems like market demand right now is pretty low. Now, there were a good, good couple of flips you might have been able to find on a few cards here or there. I sold my Kevin De Bruyne for 1.48, so that was a little bit of profit. But yeah, guys, I would be very careful, which I'm going to be more careful with the market in the next day or two. Probably stick to a little bit more of a cheaper tier um, than the more expensive cards because we're getting, yet again, more Golasso cards coming out and more expensive icons, or I say expensive, but more icons and heroes that people want to try that we say they're expensive but i mean they're actually pretty affordable as we've seen these prices continue to stay low during this week coming out of the weekend for the golazo team one cards so i'm really not going to trade with too many of these cards and i'm probably going to cool it down with trading on some of the out of pack special cards as well i'm going to make sure that i get really good deals on a snipe or on a bid and i can make sure i can sell the card quickly and fast if i'm doing trades right now in this game so i would say trade carefully right now on this game as well uh we didn't even mention it with the sbcs that we talked about early in the video there are some fodder movements 85s are ever so slightly up same thing with 86s that could continue a little bit more today depending on what sbcs get refreshed um and i mean they're probably still going to run the store round, the store lightning rounds like they've been putting out so 85s i still think are a good investment if you get them at like 3.5k and below 86 is around 6,000 coins flat or below uh, but that's more of a longer term one the rest of the fodder market still maintains a very very low price 91s are 40k 90s are 30,000 coins even the golds are 31k and 89s are 22 to 23k as well fodder is still well and truly mudded as we talked about earlier on in the week and it didn't move too much yesterday double check on the informs i don't think they moved much yesterday either I mean, they've been right around 30, 31,000 coins. They still are 30, 31,000 coins. So not a whole lot of movement there, but that is to be expected. Um, and actually, you know what, guys, let's talk about the leaks because that's the next thing that's going to impact this market. It already is starting to. And the big name player that is leaked is only one of three names from the na nationality of Brazil. Guys, Jarzinho. Pulling up the card right here. This is the official leak tweet. 
we're going to see more of this news today and it's going to jumble up the market even more in my opinion it's going to cause some people to probably not buy as much and there's going to be less demand and just kind of stop people from buying as they see some more of these names leaked and posted jarzinho is coming as a golazo icon and again he says, guess the other two Brazilian icons. So he knows them. I'm going to take a guess right now. I'm going to guess that one of those icons is Kaká. And I'm going to guess the other one is R9. I, R9 at the team of the year might be too soon. But I'm going to guess R9 and Kaká. I think Kaká has the best chance of being in. Some are shouting Garincha as well. Garincha only had the winter wild cards, right? So that could be a decent shout too. We're thinking about the Brazilian icons. Um, we just had a Jorginho SBC. But this card is going to be mad expensive, mad expensive. And he doesn't say if it's going to be a little bro and a big bro or just the big bro. I have to imagine it's probably just the big bro since that's the big top tier type of icon that is um, going to be kind of like the chase, if you know what I'm saying. Like that's the card we're going to be chasing per se, opening the store packs and opening all the other packs in this game, trying to pack. But guys, I do believe that that is another reason why the market is just kind of stale at the moment. I'm trying to think of all these words that describe how the market feels and stale, lackluster, stagnant, you know, <laughs> unstable. Those are all types of words for how I would describe the market. And I just think that's going to continue with the leaks of these players like Jarzinho um, being talked about and being posted. So I'm just being really careful with the market in that sense. Center backs are, wow, two, three flat for VVD. That's really low for him. How much is this VVD? Is he under 400K? He was earlier. He was like 390. Okay, is that 400 flat? No, that was 500 flat. So with low 400s there for him, I'm being careful, man. I'm being careful, and I think you guys should be too because more leaks, more news, more information is just going to cause more fluctuation on the market and, and potentially those cards that uh, people are buying to be bought less and people are going to be looking towards this next promo the Jarzinho and the other Golasso icons so watch out for more leaks today I will 100% guarantee that there are going to be more leaks today just because if these guys are teasing information they're probably going to be putting it out today um, Wednesday I don't think they're going to do a loading screen for team two maybe tomorrow um, that was when they teased the players on loading screen last week we'll have to see uh, but that's a big, big news, and I think it's going to impact the market today for sure. Now, today on Wednesday, let's talk about a few more things that are coming. We are getting some more, and actually, this might be one of the last days that we get fantasy upgrades on a Wednesday. It's been a fun ride following these cards, watching their prices, and getting hyped for upgrades. The biggest upgrade today, 100%, is Usman Dembele, going from a 91 to a 94. Guys, for right now, with the way this market is, every single card that is getting upgraded today, really, I don't even care if it's going up in fodder rating and it's supposed to go up in price, I would sell in the hype on all of them, especially because a lot of them do not have any more games left. And that means there's no more potential upgrades, which is going to really probably hurt their price in the long run. So Declan Rice, yeah, I know he's going up to a 93 today. I know he's probably going to have 90 pace and be one of the best center defensive mids in the game. I think I would probably still sell the card. Luis Diaz, same thing. Uh, even Konate, like you guys already have seen, Konate got absolutely mudded. He, he's, he got the upgrades, right? He, he clinched an upgrade, but he went from like 150K down to, I think it was 80,000 coins. And right now he's low 90s. Um, yeah, I'd sell on the hype on literally every single one of these cards. Um, I'm excited for the for rich SBC player to be upgraded plus one to a 92. We got the full plus four. Majri looks really sick. Luis Diaz. There's definitely some big cards that are getting upgraded today, and I'm definitely going to follow those on the market because there's going to be excitement around them for the upgrades. Luis Diaz is going to a 93. Like he's going to be 99 shooting, sorry, 99 pace, 91 shooting, 97 dribble. That's going to be a nuts card. But I think I would sell on the hype on all of them, man, just because once people see the, up, the upgraded cards and the boosted cards, there might be a little bit of an excitement there. But after that, I think the prices will drop. So those are the fantasy upgrades that are coming today. It should come out before content as long as EA aren't frauding with any of that. So watch out for that. Of course, every single new Wednesday, we get a team of the week, and Cristiano Ronaldo is set to come as a team of the week player in team of the week 29. So we're going to have a special inform Ronaldo that is in packs. And what might be special about this is this Ronaldo. Actually, it should be special about this. Ronaldo should have two playstyle pluses, which this will be the only other version of Ronaldo with two playstyle pluses, except for the Evo version if you did the 99 shooting one. 
or the team of the year, which is very interesting. I have to imagine, like that leak showed, he's going to be 88 rated. Um, just a double upgrade over his gold card. I'm assuming he's going to be 88. I don't think they'll go any higher than that. So it's technically going to be like the lowest rated, or I don't, I don't remember what the Trailblazers Ronaldo is. Is he 88 rated? Yeah, it's going to be the joint lowest rated Ronaldo that we have on this game, in my opinion. Could be 89 if he I really want to juice it up, but probably going to be 88. And um, yeah, it just is going to have two playstyle pluses, which might be nice. So that's one thing that I would kind of watch out for today. As the Ronaldo being a team league, there will be hype because it's Ronaldo. Um, and then other than that, what else are we going to have today on a Wednesday? Oh, the last thing I want to look at was the refresh of the icon player pick, which, man, this is so weird. I could have swore that yesterday on stream, it said that the icon player pick was refreshing on Wednesday. That's the normal day that it refreshes as well. But as I was just looking, it said one day, six hours. That is really random. I don't know if that's just messed up for me. I don't know what it shows for you guys, especially for those of you who have completed it. Usually Wednesdays is the refresh day for the icon player pick, which will give you another chance if you want to do it to get a future stars icon, including team of the year, thunder structure, winter wild cards. Um, I will not be doing that. I'm still working on Rafa Marquez. Uh, I packed Dempsey yesterday, so I'm, I'm not actually going to put Marquez into the Evo. I'm going to put Dempsey into the Evo for the USA squad, but I'm three of four done on Marquez. And then after that, I might start chipping away at Mia Ham. I'm going to stock my club up with a bunch of Team of the Weeks still to keep us good and stocked for all the upcoming SBCs that we want to do. Player SBC wise, I mean, Grimaldo, I might just try to check off the list really fast before he expires. That might be an easy one to get done. Of course, some of these other fodder ones back here that'll be really easy to get done too with crafting. Just trying to hit my player picks every day. The 83 times 10s, which again, it's very annoying. The 83 times 10s continually refreshing um, an hour after the normal content drop because of the way things are set up right now in this game with the clocks changing and stuff. That is something that, in my opinion, is very, very annoying, but it doesn't look like it's going to change because EA have not done nothing to fix that. Um... As of right now so we'll have to see if anything changes there but today should be an interesting day with just a lot of moving parts the fantasy upgrades maybe the SBC refreshes the new team of the week and of course any surprises and any leaks from the Golazo team 2 situation that we are coming up on so yeah for, guys for this team as well we'll talk about it tomorrow rivals rewards gonna impact the market but um, I don't think I'm gonna be investing in any Golazo cards out of packs maybe like one or two on a lower budget I would shout but most of them I don't love, especially because a lot of them are minimum price, fodder price, or needing a price range downgrade like Berbatov 93 is not even selling on the market at 150K because that is his minimum price. EA, so many problems with the price ranges. We were talking about it a lot yesterday. I tweeted about it again. I even said, guys, it's time to turn back the clocks to FIFA 14 and remove the price ranges. They create more problems than they solve. And I was just asking who stuck with these cards. Raspadori got a price range update yesterday. He went from 100,000 coins not selling since he's been in packs down to 41K, still not selling because his price range was updated not even enough. It is still too high for this card to sell on the market. And you guys maybe know this card. If you packed him a couple of weeks ago when he was re-released, bro doesn't even sell for 170k. He's been minimum price for weeks now too. So it's just, it's unfortunate. Uh, it is what it is. But um, yeah, we filled out some feedback on the feedback portal yesterday on stream. We're going to keep doing that just for funsies, to be honest. A little bit of a fun segment of the stream. We'll do that again today. If you guys haven't checked out the streams, the link is down below in the description. Make sure you check it out. We'll be there today checking out the content, seeing if anything surprises us on a Wednesday, and trying to make a few coins here and there along the way. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you on the Twitch stream today. Check out the second channel uh, video as well. And have a great Wednesday. See you guys in the stream. It's been Nathan for the Peace out.